So let's look at the following example that will deal with an adiabatic expansion of an ideal gas. So let's begin and let's suppose that inside a certain car engine there is 0.5 moles of ideal gas that expands quickly and adiabatically. During this process the temperature of the ideal gas drops by 700 kelvins. Using this information calculate how much work the gas does on the surroundings assuming that the ideal gas is a monatomic gas. So a monatomic gas is simply a gas in which the molecules are composed of a single atom. So let's begin by recalling the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states that the change in internal energy of our ideal gaseous system is equal to the amount of energy that is transferred as a result of a difference in temperature between the surroundings and our ideal gas given by Q and the change in energy as a result of work. So, our change in internal energy is given by Q plus W. Now, because we're dealing with an adiabatic process, that implies that the Q is zero. So, we see that the change in internal energy of our ideal gaseous system during our expansion is equal to the work. So, because we're dealing with a monatomic gas, that means that the change in internal energy of our ideal gaseous system is equal to the product of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by n, the number of moles of gas multiplied by r, the ideal gas constant multiplied by change in T. Now, this quantity, because it's equal to this, we see from this result that this product is equal to W. So, let's actually calculate what the change in internal energy is using this equation. So, we have 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the number of moles, 0.5 moles, multiplied by R, the universal gas constant, 8.314 times joules per mole times Kelvin. And our change in T is 700, and it's negative because we decrease in temperature. So, our final temperature is lower than the initial temperature. And so, the change in temperature is negative. If we multiply these quantities out, we obtain negative 4,365 joules of energy. So this negative simply means that the internal energy of our ideal monatomic gas system decreases and all that energy is transferred into the surroundings by the way of work. So internal energy of our system decreases, all that energy is transferred into the surroundings by work. So the gaseous system expands, let's say the piston, and it does work on the surroundings. So energy is transferred from our ideal gas system to the surroundings.